The Maori Creation Story Who is Papa Tuanuku? In Maori culture, Papa Tuanuku is the land, the earth mother. She is also known as Papa. Who is Ranginui? Ranginui is the heavens, the sky father. The Maori creation story begins in darkness. In the legend, Papa Tuanuku, the earth mother, and Ranginui, the sky father, came to exist in the darkness, Te Po, and held one another in a tight embrace. They bore many sons who were held between them without light. The children grew and wondered about life beyond the darkness. Soon the boys were men. They wondered what it would be like to live in the light. Tuamatuanga, the god of war and human activity, was the fiercest of all the sons. Let us kill them, he said. But the other sons did not want to kill their parents. Tane Mahuta, the god of the forests and birds, had an idea. We can push them apart, he said. Ranginui will be in the sky above us and Papa Tuanuku will be below us. She'll be close to us. One by one, the sons tried to push their parents apart. Rongomatane, the god of cultivated food, tried to push his parents apart. Try as he might, he could not do it. Tangaroa, the god of the sea, and Himietikitike, the god of wild food, joined him. They all pushed hard, but their parents just would not let go. Tane Mahuta, the strongest of his siblings, lay down with his back to his mother and his feet pressed against his father and started to push and separate his parents. Rangi and Papa cried. Why are you doing this? They asked. Please don't separate us. But Tane carried on pushing and eventually they were prized apart. The sons were excited to have light to see and space to move. All of the sons were excited except one. Tafari Matia, the god of wind, was angry about the separation. He hated seeing his parents in pain and he vowed that his brothers would forever have to deal with his anger. He flew up to the sky to be with his father. From there, he fought his brothers with wind, storms, clouds, rain, mist and fog. He smashed Tane's trees and plants. He made Tangaroa's waters rise and filled them with huge waves and whirlpools. The fish were frightened and the reptiles fled to the forest. Tafari Matia didn't stop there. He chased after Rongomatane and Himietikitike. They were so scared, they ran to Papa. She pulled them underground so that Tafari Matia wouldn't be able to find them. The plants and grass that grows is the hair sticking out of the ground while they hide. Finally, Tumatoenga, the god of war and human activity, confronted Tafari Matia. They fought, but neither could defeat the other. Still, to this day, humans can't defeat the weather. Tumatoenga forgave his brothers for not standing up to Tafari Matia. Rangi and Papa still miss each other. Whenever it rains, Rangi is crying for Papa. Whenever there is mist rising from the land, Papa is sighing, longing for Rangi. Maori have a strong links with Papa Tuanuku, Rangi Nui, and the sons who became Atua or guardians, and many Tikanga practices relate to respect and caretaking of the realm of the world. Hi Tamarikima, let me tell you 
a Maori story of Ranginui and Papatuanuku. Ranginui is the sky father, Papatuanuku is the earth mother. They had so many children and they all were gods. So let me teach you a song of Nga Atua. Ranginui Tangaru Achane Mahuta Tafari Macha Tumato Wing Give me a ticket, ticket, rongo matane. Papa to an Papa to an Ano Ranginui Tangaru Achane Mahuta Tafari Matia Tumato Wing Give me a ticket, ticket, rongo matane. Papa to Anukui, Papa to Anukui.